Gucci Spickly Scrimptious Delicious Gemini. Welcome to your live tarot reading. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, my baby. We are going to take a look at you and your person, my baby. So let's see. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please show me angels. What is happening for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, in a person in January 2023. All right, all right. Your person is a little bit of a douche flute, <laughs> but, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> karma, it's karma and justice all over the reading today, my baby Gemini, karma and justice. It's a bit of a douche flute, not the king of the douche flutes, although they're coming up as the king of pentacles, <laughs> but it's not the king of the douche flutes. It's like, you know, um, the uh, prime minister of the, <laughs> okay, no, never mind, it's not. Okay, it's the prime minister of the douche flutes. <clears throat> You're dealing with someone who really cares about their money and status, someone who takes pride in their career or how much money they have. They care about their image a lot. <clears throat> Maybe this is how they try to romance you and it don't work out. They see you as someone who's a little bit of a wild card, baby. This person thinks you're like, this person almost feels like they couldn't control you the way that they controlled other people in their, li in their life. You got the two of a coins here as yourself. Definite Gemini energy as well. They wish they could have controlled you better, <laughs> but they feel like they couldn't. And they also feel like you don't have as much money as them. And also remember these roles can switch. So, you know, take, take it as it resonates, baby. But this person feels like, why did Gemini get away? I have more money than them, more status, more power. Like I should have been able to control them more. And to them, you're just like this wild card. Like how does Gemini get away with it? You know, how does Gemini stay on top of things? How does Gemini stay afloat? They're almost like, you know, jealous of how you kind of, it's almost like you make your money or you stay afloat using your wits, being charming, scrumptious, and this person just doesn't get it because they had to grind their whole life and now they wanted to use their money and power to control other people. And with you, it's not working. <laughs> Aw, poor little bit boo. For some of you, it's not money and power. It's just like, you know, maybe like just a, gr a grounded, more grounded energy. This person wants to ground things. They want to control things. And they don't like the fact that you're too whimsical. You know, maybe you like to travel. You like an adventure. And this person was like a little bit like stuck in their ways. They just wanted everything their own way. Could be like a selfish energy too, you know. Gemini, why are you going traveling? Why are you going to work to work on your projects and, you know, do the things you love? You should be taking care of me. They want it to be the main character in a Gemini's life. <laughs> Good luck, baby. Okay, anyways, Gemini, uh, welcome to your Love Tarot reading. If you're new, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give mommy a kiss. <laughs> One more. Mm. Gemini, you know I love you so, so much because you are my lucky star. You really are. You're mommy's lucky star. All right, baby. You really are. I'm so grateful for you, Gemini. Thank you for spending your time with me. Uh, also, look who's here. It's Teddy Bear. He's in my lap <laughs> today. I don't know. I'm just like to totally like regressing. <laughs> 2023, I'm regressing to age nine. <laughs> All right. Um... Yeah, this person's very kind of like mad at you, but they're going to send you a message. Okay, this is what what is at stake here. At the bottom of the deck is a message, a little bit of a message. <laughs> Carefully craft, oh my gosh, and right behind it, the eight of wands. So, you know, message, 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 for sure. <laughs> what happened in the past to make the situation so please, Angel? There was heartbreak, yeah, because it was a power struggle, baby. Uh, yeah, the person wanted to be in control of the situation one way or another. It could have been through passive aggressive means. You could be dealing with, you could be dealing with an interesting energy. You could be dealing with an earth sign. I think this came up for you uh, yesterday as well, didn't it, baby? Like an earth sign came up for my Gemini. Like someone super grounded, uh, Capricorn, uh, Virgo, or Taurus, could be Taurus. Um, you know, they're coming up as the Empress, baby. So, you know, Empress, Emperor, anyone between, gender is arbitrary, but this person wanted to be the main character in your life. <laughs> They want it to be the main character in your life. They want it to tell you how it's going to be, you know. They wanted you to worship them. They wanted to make you the peasant. And then, you know, there's obvious heartbreak here because you can't be the main character in a Gemini's life. Gemini is the main character in your life, baby. In my life, everyone's life. You can be the main character in my life, Gemini, any day. 
and strength, power struggle. There's a power struggle. This person gave you so much struggles. So much power struggles. Hmm. Yeah, this person tried to dominate you in some way and it wasn't working. So they did something hurtful or they said something hurtful to teach you a lesson, put you in your place. But, it, you know, you evaded them because that's not how you deal with a Gemini. Uh, the Gemini saw the trick coming, you know, miles off. And you just like, you know, you're like, no, you can't do that to me. And you didn't like, you didn't let up. If you're wondering why this person, you know, has such like almost they have like a vendetta against you or like, you know, they switched up like so radically in some ways or like wouldn't, um, it's not even they switched up, but it's like it felt like they switched up on you because they just wouldn't make any compromises. So at first it seemed like they were so loving because the Empress can be so loving and nurturing. And then all of a sudden this person just wouldn't make any compromises, wouldn't like, you know, meet you in the middle on anything. It's just a power struggle every, every way, every day. It's because they're really stubborn and they want everything, everything their own way. If it was a more established connection, baby, it, it was somebody who gave you a whole lifetime of that. So it's just like constant heartbreak because this person wouldn't budge on anything. They're just firmly fixed in the ground. But they love you. They're just stupid. <laughs> this person could have been preventing. Oh, I think Aquarius got that part. Um, maybe watch the Aquarius reading if you're dealing with an Aquarius or you have Aquarius in your chart because... Um, yeah, I think Aquarius had this like whole thing with a person who didn't like the fact that, that their career was good or like, you know, that they were being seen by the public. There's something of that here too. You know, this person resents that you're happy in your profession or you're happy and go lucky. And that could have been a source of constant contention between you and this person, this power struggle, you know. This is a divine counterpart for you. But at the same time, they were giving you so much grief over something that you love doing or like, you know, wanting to like, you know, whatever it was. Maybe, or maybe it was the other way around. So it was like, you know, maybe they wanted you to stay at home and not work or something like that because they wanted to control you or vice versa. The moon, this person is thinking deeply, deeply about you. Their whole entire unconscious is connected to you right now. They can't get enough of you. They just, they dream about you every day. Obsessed, obsessed with the Gemini. Not surprised, maybe, not surprised. Cross watcher, uh, these energies can switch, but also. I'm not surprised you're obsessed with a Gemini. You got justice coming in, Gemini. This person will come in and do the right thing by you in the next in in the next eleven hours, eleven days, or eleven weeks, or two. It's eleven or two. Uh, I think it's going to be sooner than that. It's kind of like you know the new energy, energy of 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 the new. Uh, new year. So I think this person is going to be sooner than like 11 weeks. I'm pretty sure two weeks or two, yeah, maybe two months, but we're in the second month of the year. Uh, but this, this person is coming in with a better message. You know, they have a better message to impart to you this time around. It's not going to be the same old trash. It's going to be something new. It's going to be justice. It's going to be an apology. They're going to be like, you know, I want to do justice by you. I wasn't fair to, to you before. I couldn't control you, all of that stuff. And, you know, it's up to you if you want to forgive them, my darling Gemini. What do you want to do with the situation? Let's see what the advice is. Love. Love is coming back, you know, follow your heart, you know, uh, it all depends on, on what happened here. If this person like tried to jeopardize your career, you know, you might want to think about, think twice about forgiving them. But if it was like, you know, like a lover's tiff and there's been silence between you and now it, now is your chance to reconcile. So uh, follow your heart, follow the love is what the angels are saying. All right, my baby Gemini, this is what I have for you today. Happy New Year. Uh, also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my readings, why not subscribe? Turn on the notification button and like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. One love.